Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at installing Couchbase server on an Ubuntu Linux machine. So this could be their Ubuntu server edition, this could be Ubuntu desktop edition. It doesn't really matter. Uh, probably in a production environment, you're probably going to want Ubuntu server. Uh, but for, for my example, we're just going to use Ubuntu desktop edition. Now as of right now, uh, Couchbase only supports Ubuntu 14.4 or 12.4 uh, and that's as of May 14th 2016 um, that's likely to change in the future for every uh, long-term release of Ubuntu so these are long-term releases uh, so first off what you need to do is you need to set up the uh, package repository that contains uh, Couchbase on Ubuntu so go ahead and open up your terminal uh, and we're going to type in the following. You, you, you'll notice that I am on uh, the Couchbase website uh, because this is something that I probably won't remember and, and many won't remember. But let's go ahead and type in the following. Let's go ahead and type in curl uh, hyphen capital O HTTP packages.couchbase.com slash releases slash Couchbase hyphen release slash Couchbase hyphen release hyphen 1.0 hyphen 1 hyphen amd 64 dot deep for a Debian package because this will also work on Debian Linux as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit enter. All right, so that should have downloaded it. So let's go ahead and check. So I did an ls and it's now on, uh, it's actually in my home directory. Uh, for my Ubuntu machine. It's, so it's wherever your terminal is currently pointing. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to install what we downloaded. So we can type in sudo dpkg hyphen i and then that file. So I'm just going to type in couch and then hit uh, tab and it'll auto complete it. And I'm going to hit enter. Great. So it should be set up as of right now. And you'll note that I could have just copied and pasted uh, those two lines in from this website, uh, but I decided to type them out so that way everyone could hear uh, what's going on. So with that said, uh, we now have the opportunity to install two versions of Couchbase. Uh, we can in install Couchbase Server Enterprise Edition, or we can install Couchbase Server Community Edition. Uh, so for me, I don't need anything special. I'm, I'm just a hobbyist. I'm not going to install Couchbase Enterprise, uh, but that shouldn't stop you. So let's go ahead and type in sudo apt git install Couchbase Server Community. So if you wanted to install Couchbase Server Enterprise Edition, just leave off uh, the community. So just it would just be Couchbase Server. So let's go ahead and say Couchbase Server Community and hit enter unable. So uh, that's probably because I probably need to update my uh, repository listing right now. So let's go sudo apt git update. All right, let's go ahead and try that uh, previous command again. So we're going to hit enter. Uh, this time it found it uh, because I just needed to update my listing, which is absolutely normal. So it's, it, what it's doing is it's installing it right now, Catchbase Server Community Edition. Perfect. So it is installed. Uh, so what we want to do is now we can go ahead and check out the installation. So in our web browser, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new tab. And I'm going to say, uh, let's say localhost, and then it's port 8091, and hit enter. And you can see I, I am now running Couchbase 4.0 Community Edition. If you are running Enterprise Edition, you'll always be versions ahead of Community Edition. So let's go ahead and click Setup. Uh, so now what we have the opportunity to do is we have the opportunity to set the uh, disk storage locations um, and the host name. But more importantly, we have the option to either say this is a new cluster or we have the opportunity to join a cluster. So this is the only node that I have running, so this is going to be a new cluster. I'm also choosing to use the index and query services, so that way I can run uh, nickel queries, which are SQL-like queries, and then I can define uh, RAM quotas and uh, 
indexes. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those as default. You definitely want to adjust them depending on your needs. Uh, so I'm going to hit next. I have the opportunity to install travel sample or beer sample or game simulation sample. Uh, these are sample buckets that have uh, a collection of documents in them. Uh, so if you wanted to play around with data, you could. So I'm going to choose just travel sample. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to create a default bucket. Uh, so I don't need it to be two gigabytes in size. I'm going to say, uh, let's just say 100 megabytes. I don't, it doesn't need to be that large for me. Uh, I'm going to leave everything else as the default and I'm going to click next. I'm going to uh, register it, click next, and I'm going to type in a password. So this is just me prototyping. So I'm going to just type in a random password here. And I've just set up Couchbase server on Ubuntu. So it, it'll go ahead and, and set everything up, at which point you can go ahead and start using it uh, with any of the available SDKs or whatever uh, you plan to do with it.